him show me again make a freezing um biggest thing is man it took me forever to find this picture like I ain't even gonna lie it's a scarcity of good images on Google thanks to modern technology yeah remember like you know when we first started getting on computers and you could find any picture yeah you can't anymore that kind of sucks you need a time machine man go back in time and like just download a bunch of pictures and sell them later ha million dollar idea write that down um yeah mecha freezer he's an arm like not even a full torso and a head like are you serious um yeah wow great um composed of sand armor and a bunch of other stuff all right um yeah if you're watching you know same thing dark to lights dark to lights um again uh for good like effects with your airbrushing work on doing your stuff in layers um and definitely work on like your fading gradients yeah big words of the day gradients i think i used that already i don't i don't remember um yeah so anyways you know like i said working in the dark areas um some areas you know you're not gonna be able to fade out as much like where i'm working on in the face now but um if you watch a couple seconds ago where i did the head pieces are better yet you're looking at this part right here you know um i always start off with my lighter fade and then work down into the darker fade whereas some people do it in reverse um the thing that you want to kind of do closer though is try and get your lighter fade closer to going into white like imagine you're not going to paint any color outside of the color that you're doing so you want to try and fade that out from dark to light as much as possible that way once you uh you know put your next coat over the top of it it'll really uh fade in nice yeah write that down big words of the day uh thing i hated with this one though I had to mix some colors and rule of thumb now that I learned to any color that you see in a bottle is going to come out darker on a shirt so like my light gray that I'm doing now is actually darker than I wanted it to be and I had to do some fudging and some finagling with the finished product but you know I'm pulling it off but yeah just uh, something to remember your darks yeah, your color is always going to come out darker. Um, doing the chrome pieces. Uh, like I said, with my, one of my, my last one with the Iron Man, for some strange reason, it came out pink. I tried it again, and it still comes out pink. So, I ain't feeling it. Um, as far as with, you know, here, it's just silver on top of uh, gray. You know, generally how I do mine. Um one thing i try to do though is kind of avoid the darker areas because it'll bring it out more you know like you'll see more glitter and more effect in the darker areas of like the um the color versus in the lighter areas um tail working on that uh i'm actually on the phone right now so yeah skip that um finishing up just about pretty much uh, I use blue whenever I'm trying to do my blacks like if I already have a bunch of gray going on in the picture I'll actually use blue because it, it kind of helps to break it up and separate it from all just looking the same versus you know if I would have did a dark gray saying he's gray and little silver metal armor pieces of gray already mm, as always whites last highlights um Al Seville on Twitter Al Seville on Facebook, ndblimited.com. Yeah, here's the uh, the finished picture, and basically what I did is I pretty much just kind of sprayed back over it once I mixed my lighter gray. Um, and check me out at 2deviantart.com backslash Al Seville. Yeah.